Hello and welcome to this new tutorial on C Sharp. In this tutorial we will discuss how to load data into our list box control from a SQL Server database and we will enhance the functionality which we have created in the previous example. This is our previous example and if I run the application you can see when I try to filter this data uh, if I try to enter any data into this text box, it start filtering the data in the list box, as you can see. During the course of this tutorial, we load the data manually, as you can see. In this tutorial, we will, instead of manually adding data in here, we will use a SQL Server database with the country's data. Uh, sorry with the country's table and the data in here and we will load this data from here into our application so let's get started the first thing we need to do is to in use a few namespace the first one is system dot data the second one is system dot data dot sql client and we also need system dot configuration and make sure that system dot configuration is in here as well otherwise it will never work so add a reference and we will find here it is so add that in here as well. Now what we need to do is to first add a connection string into our app.config file which is in here and just write here connection strings. Now we will add a new connection string db test and then connection string itself and then finally provide a name which is system dot data dot sql client it's this namespace the provider name now how to get the connection string easily and correctly to add a correct connection string in here the best way is to go to the data source sorry server explorer data connection add connection and select SQL server continue and then server name the server names and then it will load all the data a database for us and select your database and click connection test connection if you see this message test connection succeeded click OK go to advance and then copy it from here sorry go here this one in here click OK OK and then copy it here and that's all we need now what we need to do is go to and delete all this including that now the first thing we need to do is to have the connection string so connection string and we will call or get it from here so how to do that configuration manager dot connection string and db test what is db test this is db test this should be exactly as it is here otherwise it will not work and then dot connection string that's all you need to do now we will add connection string sql connection dot e con equals to new sql connection 
at the connection string is this one and now SQL command CMD new SQL command and we will use store procedure and the connection object is this one now what is the command type that is command dot store procedure if you are using store procedure and you don't write this line of code it will not work so what is the name of store procedure USB get all countries just copy that and we will create that store procedure now go to your database SQL database and then programmability and then store procedure and create new store procedure just delete every single thing and write create procedure the name of the procedure as and then begin and and select select one what this column and this column from which table this table that's all we need and execute it sorry procedure spanning is wrong uh, execute and you will see it here so now we have the store procedure we need to open the connection dot open and we will have a data reader SQL data reader and we will use the command dot execute reader because we are reading the data and then we will load that data which is in this reader into this data table so dot load and inside that reader that's all we need so now run the application and you will see every single data is loaded into our list box and we can now filter that data as you can see now one thing if you look at this store procedure we have two columns in here currently it's showing the data from country column if we want to see the data from the other column as well so country ID and run and as you can see now so this this is the one we need to use so there we go so a few now with a few line of code we have load the data from our database into our list box you can also write this code as using SQL data adapter adapter equals to new SQL data adapter store procedure name and the connection object remove that and we will add the now you don't need that and you don't need that now all you need is all you need adapter dot fill and fill what this data table run the application and you will see the same effect so you can use both SQL data adapter or SQL data command 
whichever one you want to use. So with this I conclude this video. Thanks for watching. Bye now.